Hi, my name is Lisa Jacob and I'm the gynecologist who assists couples with their infertility. I'm located in Frisco, Texas. Um, gonorrhea is a common sexually transmitted disease in the U.S. and I see it in about one out of every 18 patients who have come in for fertility issues. The bacteria that can cause gonorrhea can infect the genital tract, mouth, or anus. You can get gonorrhea during vaginal, oral, or anal sex with an infected partner. A pregnant woman can pass it to her baby during childbirth. However, this is most commonly seen in young adults. Men could experience the disease with pain during urination or discharge from the penis. If untreated, it can cause problems with the prostate and testicles. Many of the patients never end up knowing that they acquired the disease because most of the time no a symptom are present. Some of my patients have vaginal discharge, pain during urination, fever, or nausea. However, these symptoms barely show. I prescribe oral antibiotics to patients for about two to three weeks depending on the severity. If the patient has experienced several pain, severe pain and the genital tracts have been infected, I would require the patient to be hospitalized and be given pain medication. I request the patient to come in after two months to make sure the infected area has been cleared. Um, for example, a 27-year-old Caucasian uh, woman who was in the middle class came in, experienced pain in her stomach, bleeding through her vaginal area. She had no prior medical issues. The patient was diagnosed with gonorrhea and told me her and her husband have been trying to have a baby for the past couple of years, um, but in the past couple of months, the symptoms of gonorrhea progressed. I had to hospitalize the woman because the infection spread to her genital tract, which um, caused a severe pain and was required surgery. Uh, women and men should be tested for STDs because you never know when you could be infected and you do not want your symptoms to progress. I would educate them about the importance of using protection. It is essential to test patients for issues like this when patients come in for infertility issues because the root problems could be present, but sometimes it should, it could just be family genetics. The major problems that still need to be solved are couples that have been trying for years should frequently schedule gynecologist exams so that they can make sure nothing is physically wrong with them, either the man or the women. Thank you.